the Bible commands us to not be deceived by evil and always be alert for its attacks. We can find this in 1 Corinthians 15 verses 31 and 32 where we read from the NIV, And as for us, why do we endanger ourselves every hour, Paul is, is writing. Paul writes, I face death every day. Yes, just as surely as I boast about you in Christ Jesus our Lord, if I fought with wild beasts in Ephesus with no more than human hopes, what have I gained? If the dead are not raised, this was the issue, it was whether the resurrection was real or not, what have I gained if the dead are not raised? We may as well just eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. What is the point? Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. This is a truism from the Holy Spirit. Come back to your senses, Paul continued. Come back to your senses as you ought and stop sinning, for there are some who are ignorant of God, and I say this to your shame. Bad company, here is a truism, bad company corrupts good character. This is just a fact of life. Paul is writing to Christians who have been misled by others. They've started associating with these Christians, so-called Christians, who have bad doctrine. And specifically, they are questioning whether Jesus Christ was ever actually raised from the dead. And that creates some real problems for some weak Christians. Always remember that there are those weak ones, or shall we say the evil ones, who will always be trying to distract you from the truth of the gospel and trying to get you to compromise on your beliefs and on your actions. The bottom line in all of this, sounds, this sounds a little bit severe, but the bottom line on that is you're saved, you're a Christian, your relationship with God is very, very important. If that is true, then these people are really not worthy of being friends. Maybe casual acquaintances that occasionally you have the opportunity of witnessing to, but that's about it. You really don't want to foster a close friendship with them. They are dangerous to your walk with Jesus. Keep away from them. Amen.